a fine how do you do. What was it you think got us the boot? Stealing the Queen's cash? Blowing up her summer sack? The beatdown at the bar? Whatever it was, you really ticked off the big boss this time. I don't think they're gonna let us back in. No! Well, there's two things that solve every problem. Money and explosives. <laughs> I've got an idea! <laughs> Gotta get money, gotta get bombs, gotta get home to the town! Oh, I can't wait to see the look on the Queen's face when she sees exactly who double-crossed her! <laughs> so we're gonna go over the plan one more time. So you don't screw it all up! All right. First, we light the fuse! Then, we put on our inconspicuous disguises and sneak into town. After that, we get our glorious blinged out boom trolley right up to the boss's place, reveal our ingenious deception, and boom! They'll never see it coming! <laughs> an escape plan. <laughs> Take two. Light the fuse, inconspicuous, sneaking through town, front door, reveal our deception, then run like hell and boom! It's foolproof. <laughs> right! The cold! No point in blowing it up. So... <gasps> yes, inconspicuous, trolley, front door, reveal, grab the gold! And... Bill?
trouble. Jesse McCray. Been a while. You promised you'd write. Well, Ash. I've been kind of busy. We're pretty busy ourselves. So it's awful convenient you showing up today. Yeah. You've never been one to shy away from a good tip. Hey, we worked hard for this score. You best move on now. <laughs> All I want is that crate. Everything else is yours. This crate? Huh. Bob. Well, well. Now you got my attention. What is it? That's none of your business. Well, as I see it, now it's very much our business. <sighs> Doesn't always have to be this way, Ash. Apparently, it does. Looks like Bob got himself some upgrades. about that, Bob. No hard feelings. McCree? Hey! <laughs> untie me, McCree! Say hi to the gang to for you. me. I will not be yours! I'm gonna rebuild Bob, and I'm gonna have him rip off your other arm! Cowboy. <laughs> Welcome back, partner. Hmm. How long have I been gone? Far too long. What happened? 
Well, that's a story for another time. But I got a call. I'm getting the band back together. They want me. But really, they need you. Jesse, wait. What are you going to do? <laughs> I've got some business to attend to. Say hi to the monkey for me. Monkey? <laughs> Scientist. Whatever. Funny. They say there's no honor among thieves. But that's not how things work around here. If you cross me, or if you break your word, they'll be held to pay. You can count on it. Let's clean up this mess. You want to try me? Poser. Back off. Burn it all down. Now that gets the blood pumping. Oh, there you are. It's hard. I'm calling the shot. Journal Entry 1963-4, Harold Winston. Status update on Specimen 8. By now, we're all used to our super intelligent gorillas on the colony. But the hamster, <laughs> we've named him Hammond, continues to be one of our biggest surprises. Even though he's grown from the genetic modification, we have more trouble keeping track of him than any of the other animals. Somehow, he managed to get out of his cage again. It took us days to find him. I can't help but wonder what it is he's looking for when he gets out there. He's shown impressive problem-solving skills and adaptability to new situations. And he's overcome all the challenges that have been placed in front of him. I, for one, can't wait to see what trouble the little guy gets up to next. The system online. Navigational matrix initialized. Weapons linked. Targets found. Objectives loaded. Pilot link established. We stand on the brink of a breakthrough in human evolution. I have dedicated my life to unraveling its secrets. I take risks that others would consider to be unwise, for I do not share their caution. Overwatch held back the pace of scientific discovery for decades. They believed my methods were too radical too controversial, and they tried to silence me. But there were others in the shadows, searching for ways to circumvent their rules. Freed from my shackles, 
the pace of our research hastened. Together, we delved deeper into those areas forbidden by law, by morality, and by fear. New patrons emerged who possessed an appetite for my discoveries. And with this knowledge, what new world could we build? Winston's message wasn't meant for you. This isn't your fight. Papa told me, after so many years of service, you gave Overwatch everything, and then they pushed you out. Why would you go back to them? But they still fight you. So, that's it. You're leaving us. I have been called. I must answer. It is a great honor. Uh, to disappear into some secret organization. Give up the glory of being a crusader? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> uh, he wishes he got picked. <laughs> ah, the crusaders are immortal defenders of Germany. People will be singing songs about our legacies. Our legacies are our deeds. And this war is bigger than all of us. Tropods to the east, they're coming! All right, people, they're playing our song. Stick with your dance partners. Let's crush those rust buckets. Here's your walking stick, old man. <laughs> Live with honor. <laughs> Die with glory! You. Lieutenant! You took an oath to be a crusader. Now, keep it. I... I won't leave you! The team needs you. 
be their shield. Reinhardt, live with honor. answer. Always. My name is Jack Morrison. People used to call me a hero. I led Overwatch for 20 years. We ended the Omnic Crisis and paved the way to a better future. Those were the good old days. They didn't last. Bad guys popped up all over the world. Lots of folks said we failed to keep the world safe. Protests broke out. They said that we were the problem. And people called from my head. They almost got their wish. It was a conspiracy. Overwatch got hit from inside and out. Our enemies blew up our headquarters, and me with it. They thought I died. Part of me did. But the war goes on. Now, I move in secret, striking from the shadows, hunting all those that brought Overwatch down. Call me a vigilante if you want. Truth is, I'm just a soldier. Tonight, on a moment in crowd. Their spree of mayhem and chaos has caused untold millions in property damage around the world. But who are these two deranged junkers? And what inspired their orgy of destruction? Is this the work of master criminals? Or just a couple of idiots? It was Junkrat who masterminded this string of attacks that has stretched from the Australian outback to King's Row and beyond. Now this explosive's obsessed freak has his sights set on even greater acts of destruction. His co-conspirator, Roadhog, is a remorseless killer 
who hides his face behind a mask. This giant of a man is more than happy to use violence to resolve any situation. Together they have burned, bombed, robbed, and killed their way across the world. And their calamitous crime spree shows no sign of slowing down. Following their personal creed of no job too big, no score too small, it seems as though there is no end in sight to this senseless rampage. Unless we get your help. If you have any information as to the whereabouts of these two extremely dangerous criminals, you need to contact us right away. Remember, crime doesn't pay, but we do. We are hope. Generator test ready to proceed. <laughs> now, now, no need for that, Winston. Your heart rate is through the roof. I told you to stop monitoring my vitals, Athena. Very well. It has been 43 days, 7 hours, and 29 seconds since your last cardio workout. Remember, a healthy body is a healthy mind. That's why I have this. news of this sort. We go through this. I remind you, recalling Overwatch agents to active duty comes with great risk. The Petrus Act clearly states any Overwatch activity is deemed illegal and punishable by prosecution. I know. You're right. That's the way the world is. <sighs> but I do miss the old days. I think you have something that belongs to me. Hand them over. Oh, it's okay. You're not in trouble. Oh, I'll trade you. There you go, buddy. Well, there's not much to see from in here, kiddo. But you know there's more out there, don't you? 
Come on. It's time I showed you something. I'm detecting intruders. Talon. Athena. Kill the lights. more out there. Well, see for yourself. Wow. Always remember, never accept the world as it appears to be. Dare to see it for what it could be. Winston. Winston! He's going to have all agents' locations. I'll be sure to send them your regards, monkey. I'm not a monkey. <laughs> I'm a scientist. Fraction, 90%. Ah! Fatling, 98%. Hang on, Athena. Athena? Athena! Virus quarantined. I'm running diagnostics on the core database. Restoring systems. Never accept the world as it appears to be. Dare to see it for what it could be. Establishing agent connections. Winston? Is that you, love? As a girl, I had a fear of spiders. 
I was told they felt no emotion. That their hearts never beat. But I know the truth. Your channel. No one's. Is in danger. Get him out of here. Identify yourself immediately. All rooftop teams, check and clear. Halo is leaving. I repeat, Halo is leaving. Sir, there's been a breach. We need to leave now. Chariot, this is Team One. Halo is coming in hot. Over. like the party is over.
When I was a girl, I had a fear of spiders. I was told they felt no emotion, that their hearts never beat. But I know the truth. At the moment of the kill, they are never more alive. I made a chronal accelerator. I'm sure I can do this. <clears throat> to all agents of o to all agents of Overwatch. <clears throat> That's not right. To the former agents of Overwatch. This is Winston. <laughs> Obviously. <clears throat> Thirty years ago, the Omnix declared war. The nations of the world had no answer until they called upon a small group of heroes. Overwatch was created to rescue humanity from the Omnicrisis. We became the greatest champions of peace and progress mankind has ever seen. You were chosen because you had powers and abilities that made you... You joined because you... You already know this. Look, the people decided they were better off without us. They even called us criminals. They tore our family apart. But look around! Someone has to do something! We have to do something! We can make a difference again. The world needs us now, more than ever. Are you with me? of an ancient legend about two great dragon brothers, the dragon of the north wind and the dragon of the south wind. Together, they upheld balance and harmony in the heavens. quarrel turned to rage and their violent struggle darkened the skies until the dragon of the south wind struck down his brother who fell to earth shattering the land Seeking power, I killed my brother. But without him, I am lost. The stranger replied, You have inflicted wounds upon yourself. 
But now, you must heal. Walk the earth on two feet as I do. Find value in humility. Then, you will find peace. You are not the first assassin sent to kill me. And you will not be the last. You are bold to come to Shimara Castle, the den of your enemies. This was once my home. Did your masters not tell you who I was? I know who you are, Hanzo. I know you come here every year on the same day. You risk so much to honor someone you murdered. You know nothing of what happened! I know you tell yourself that your brother disobeyed the clan. And that you have to kill him to maintain order. That it was your duty. It was my duty, and my burden. That does not mean I do not honor him! You honor your brother Genji with incense and offerings? Honor resides in one's actions. You dare to lecture me about honor? You are not worthy to say his name! You go wagateki wo kurao! Mada can control the dragons. Who are you? Do it then. Kill me. No. I will not grant you the death you wish for. You still have a purpose in this life. Brother. No. No. My brother is dead. Genshi. The dragon knelt upon the ground. For the first time, he was able to clearly see the world around him, and he became human. The stranger revealed himself as his fallen brother. Reunited, the two set out to rebuild what they had once destroyed. What have you become? I have accepted what I am, and I have forgiven you. Now you must forgive yourself. The world is changing once again, Hanzo, and it's time to pick a side. Real life is not like the stories our father told us. You are a fool for believing it so. Perhaps I am a fool to think there is still hope for you. But I do. Think on that, brother.
a baby anymore, mamá. Stop treating me like one. Listen to me, mija. Get the flower and get back quickly. No stops. Fine. <gasps> I worry about Alejandra every day. No longer a child and nowhere near grown up. She is at a crossroads. I tell her about the heroes who saved our world time and time again because I want to give her hope. <sighs> but I'm afraid that she could be forced to make a choice that will decide the direction of her life. Hey, 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 Ali! Where you going, girl? No... nowhere? <laughs> Nowhere's right. Come here. You gotta see this. Uh... Here. Here. Look at this thing. Give him what he deserves. I... I don't know. I've gotta go. <laughs> Come on. Do it! <laughs> It's just a bucket of bolts? Uh... I have to go to the store before it closes or my mama's gonna kill me. Oops. Hey! <laughs> it's gonna be hard without any money, Nina. Come on! Give us back! I need it! <laughs> Run home, kid. It ain't safe out here. You're one of those heroes, aren't you? Not anymore. Oh, <laughs> 
to worry about Alejandra after all. My dearest Fariha, every mother hopes for a better life for her daughter. I was willing to fight and die for it. I taught you that there is nothing more important than protecting the ones you love. You grew up surrounded by heroes. They filled your head with stories of adventure and dreams of glory. And one day, you wanted to join them, but it was not the life I wanted for you. I never told you of the weight I carry from all those I killed to keep everyone safe. But I always did what was asked of me. Until one day, I could not take the life I needed to. I hesitated, and everything changed. The people who I was supposed to protect died, and I was left behind, gravely wounded. The world believed that I was dead. I thought perhaps that was for the best. I've lost so much in my life. I've said goodbye to so many friends. I've buried the ones closest to me. But for all that I have lost, I know that there are still people who need to be protected. So I cannot stop fighting. Not yet. Not while there are people still waiting for me. One day, I hope you'll understand. Your mother, Anna. Thank <laughs> you. 
Humanity has always been tested. Conflict and war is the crucible through which we evolve. who fall will be forgotten. Those who rise up, their names will be remembered forever. Who is Sombra? To the system, she's nobody. She doesn't exist. No one remembers the girl. There were a thousand children like her after the war. But none of them could hack like she could. And she learned that people were just as easily manipulated. Now she understood how the world worked. Information is power. So she kept hacking. Politicians, corporations, governments. It was an addiction. But for the first time, someone noticed her. When your hardware's obsolete, it's time to upgrade. The girl was gone, and Sombra was born. Now, I'm ready. I'll find out who really runs the world. I'll find their weaknesses, and how to exploit them. And when I do, I'll be the one pulling the strings. Who is Sombra? You'll never know. Adios. We're still in the middle of this massive ice storm. It's crazy. We missed our resupply window, and we're low on rations. So, Captain Opara is having the team hibernate. Come on, May. Cryo chamber time. Already? Huh. An hour ago. Be right there. Snowball, give me my drops back. I'm leaving the sensors on, so when we wake up, I'll have a whole new data set to examine. Hey! You're holding up that time. <laughs> Sorry. Bye. Can't fever whenever you're around. Can't find a way to get you close with my tongue.
Get off, Snowball. No. <laughs> Rise and shine, sleepy heads. What our new data set looks like. Hmm. The atmospheric fluctuations above the anomaly have gotten. <gasps> it's much worse than we predicted. We have to get this to headquarters. Where is all this data coming from? Snowball, how long have we all been asleep? <coughs> what? No! Overwatch would have come for us. And the comms are down? Calm? Nobody even knows we're here. Wait a minute. Where is everybody? <laughs> my friends. I mean, I will try. Oh, the dish is broken. How do I get this data out? We're here. Thank you, Snowball. At least I still have you. <laughs> Let's see if we can make the batteries last a little longer. Wait, what is this? This is broadcasting on the Overwatch emergency frequency. <gasps> Maybe someone knows we're here. If I could just. Snowball, we're not on ice yet. Was the last battery, wasn't it? I can't believe I forgot about the batteries! Without power, we're dead. There has to be a way. Think, 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 think. I just needed a little more time.
Thank you, my friend. Where are our way? 